Hey, it's AutoTech 660 uh, coming at you with a roll cart tour. So um, I'm a uh, technician. Um, we run a family family owned and operated auto shop. And uh, yeah, so in my other video, I did uh, a full toolbox tour. Um, I've been doing this a long time. I've been working on cars a long time, and uh, I'm. Uh, Certified ASC Master Technician. Uh, I've been doing this for about 15 years. So um, this is how I set my stuff up. And um, you know, you may have other ways to do it. If you do, and it's better than mine, you know, let me know. I, I'm always uh, trying to learn uh, new ways of doing things, ways to be more efficient, ways to organize and be more efficient. So this is my roll cart. Um, my roll cart contains the stuff that I use. Uh, every day, all day, um, I roll it from bay to bay. Uh, I can do a lot of jobs out of just my roll cart, um, and I, you know, everything else is in the big box. So if I need that, I got to go back to it. But you can't load your roll cart down either. So, all right, here's uh, my roll cart tour. So this is a snap-on roll cart. It is a KRSC series roll cart in royal blue with a blackout package. I did not buy this new. I bought this used. I got a great deal on it. If you need you know, a toolbox or a roll cart and you've got a little bit of cash, buy a used one because it's just a great value for what you're getting. You know, try to get you a deal. So. Um, Roll cart, if I was a brand new technician just starting out, I would get a roll cart first. Get a good size roll cart. I don't care if it's Snap-on, Mac, Matco, Cornwell, Harbor Freight. Um, Harbor Freight actually makes some pretty cool roll carts now for a great price. I don't know how well they hold up uh, from long-term use, but when you're just starting out, you don't have, uh, you don't always have that, uh, that Snap-on money. So we're going to start out with... Uh, you know, the, basically the, the cart is, uh, it's got full drawers. This cart came out before they had the speed drawer stuff. So I don't have a speed drawer in it. And I, I, I don't mind that. It's fine. Um, it's got a worktop. It came, uh, came like this. It's my understanding with the bed liner worktop. Now, I got a good deal on this box. And so I don't mind working off this top. I put stuff on it. I work off of it. I, you know, it's a worktop. It's not a show top. So... That one's kind of my office. This is my worktop. Of course, I got workbenches, you know. Got to have workbenches. Yeah, that's a bunch of crap on the floor right there, right? So, magnets. Stick some magnets on the back. Some guys have these, like, beautiful, you know, wrench layouts on the back of their uh, roll cart. Um, I, I don't do that because I need to shut it, and I need all the stuff to stay in place so I can work off the top. Plus, I lock my box at night. It's just... Because I'm paranoid like that, I guess. I'm particular. So anyway, um, in the top of my box, I have uh, Phillips head screwdrivers on one side, uh, flatheads on the other, and pry bars. Some of this stuff is, uh, a couple of these are missing and out in, you know, the bays where I've been working. But uh, anyway, um, I think uh, in my other video, I was talking about these uh, red hard handle snap-on um, tools. I just really like the way they look, man. Um, they're awesome. They clean up too. Like you can get this thing so dirty and then take uh, take some wipes and wipe it off, and it's it's right back to brand new again. It's not like the instinct grips where they kind of stain, but uh, I just love them. It's like kind of like they're they're kind of like retro, I guess. But I like the way they feel in my hand. So. Hard handle snap-on uh, screwdrivers are are my other favorite thing. I don't know. Um, you want to have you some crappy screwdrivers to use uh, as uh, pry tools. I don't use my good ones for pry tools, but I use my crummy ones for pry tools. So and over here, this is uh, like I said, uh, Phillips head. I've got a cotter key puller. Sitting here, this is well used. Got a key puller. Got a half inch drive snap on ratchet, long length ratchet. Handy. 
I've got a Matco flex head that lives there, but uh, it is currently in the back of my truck. Um, Torx bits. I bought Snap-on, heavy duty. I have yet to break one. Actually, no, I broke one. I did break one. I broke uh, this one right here, T27. But uh, in all fairness, I uh, broke it on an imp I, I put it on an impact. Couldn't get it out by hand. Put it on an impact, broke it. It was a tight fastener. Anyway, um, those have been well worth the money. I, I don't ever feel like I'm, you know, like taking a risk when I use those. If, if those little Torx bits break off in the head of a bolt, then if it's stuck in there, it's gonna give you a fit. So um, I've got uh, shallow, uh, mid-length, and short sockets, 3 8 drive in the top of my box. I've got some swap meet snap-ons. Some gear wrench mids and Craftsman shallows, and they work fine. It's a hodgepodge. So I've had uh, like that Craftsman shorts. This one's on a ratchet right now somewhere. I don't know. Um, those Craftsman shorts, I've had those for like probably ten or twelve years, maybe longer. And uh, if one breaks. Yeah, I guess I could take it to Lowe's, but I generally just throw it away and pick another one up out of a... We've got like a big box of... I call them like junk or... They're not named... Right. right I got to do this. Name brand. Um, they're not name brand, you know, tools. It's Craftsman or whatever um, that I'll stick in there. Just not a big deal. I'd like to get a set of snap-ons, but I haven't bought them yet. So, it is what it is. Um, these... Uh, Matco 3 8 drive swivels. These are expensive, uh, no joke, but they're worth it. I've had these for probably 12 or probably at least 12 years. Um, these are a good investment. Lifetime warranty, the way that they, um, they don't bind real badly, like uh, they're pinless, so you get a little bit of extra, uh, a little bit of extra angle when you use them. And I use the crap out of them. Um, they are, I, I use them on a lot of jobs, but I take care of them, so. Um, ratchets, 3 8 drive flex head locking Matco, uh, 3 8 drive uh, long handled Matco, and these little stubby, um, stubby flex. I use it a lot for running stuff in and out or whatever. Good little ratchet, I like it. That's a snap on. Tire gauge, flashlight, receipt, <laughs> um, extensions. I keep my extensions on the top of my box. Um, ratchets. I've got a, a little snap-on, a Matco Flex, and a tiny baby snap-on. Um, this is really handy for running stuff in and out. If you don't want to put too much uh, pressure on a small fastener. You, you know, you just want to run it out with your fingers, or run it in with your fingers, so you don't break it. This is great for that. Um, Snap-on uh, quarter drive sockets, quarter drive flex sockets. Um, I got these uh, as a BOGO deal. I got standards, which I keep in the other box. Um, I use these a lot. I use these a lot. So it's been a good value for me. Uh, luckily, I haven't lost one yet, so I know that that 10 millimeter is probably gonna get lost at some point. But that's why I bought uh, locking extensions. <laughs> so got some keep some magnets up here. You know, you never know when you're gonna need to reach something dropped. Um, quarter inch drive, six point. Oh, that's doing in there. Oops. Quarter inch drive six point. I got the snap on from well, these this is craftsman, but I got snap on from five and a half to 15. I got gear inch mids from five to 15, and I've got uh, assorted snap on and cobalt and craftsman and gear inch uh, shorts. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I like these Hanson socket trays because I can put shallow, mid, and deep. 
uh, all on the same tray. So whatever you need, it's right there. It's easy to identify what the size is. It sticks right up at you. It almost smacks you in the face. Hey, I'm a 10 millimeter, lose me. You know? So uh, anyway, uh, that's, that's uh, how I keep the top of my cart. I try to keep it this way. Sometimes it gets uh, kind of full. Um, but this is, this is how I like to keep it. Uh, first drawer. I've got a 3 8 um, electric Milwaukee impact that's laying in the it's it's laying in the floor next to that engine. Um, I like Milwaukee electric tools. I think they're a good value for the money, and so I kind of built my set around them. Um, to see, I've got a few uh, these long extended length ratchets. Uh, I use them way more than I thought I was going to. So I've got a 3 8 around here somewhere probably over there with my impact um, this is uh, cleaning off uh, hubs for brake jobs or you know, what not, what have you put it on the end of my drill right angle impact uh, wrench cordless comes in real handy so it's got pretty good power it's not like it's not as strong as I thought it would be um, but it is a you know pretty small package uh, that you can get a you know an impact package so it's 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 good for it's good for what it is and you can actually tell a difference if you run like a 3.0 battery or this little one amp hour battery you can tell a difference in the power that it puts out I don't know if they claim you can't or not but I can tell so uh, this was my first cordless tool this is an Ingersoll Rand quarter drive a uh, little ratchet and um, I don't have any problems with the Ingersoll Rand. I actually think it's a really well-made tool. I just It's hard to get these locally. I bought this online. It, and after I bought that, I started thinking, well, I need to be able to get batteries you know, locally. So that's why I, I started getting Milwaukee stuff. Um, this Milwaukee uh, little quarter drive fuel um, impact. This thing right here will break fasteners. You've got to be careful when you use this uh, full, full bore number three. Um, because it'll, you know, the small fasteners that you're taking in and out, you can you can bust them with this thing. So uh, it works quick. It's nice and small. Good battery life, even with the one amp hour battery, um, and good power, especially for its size. Really, really like that. Um, so for my impacts, other impacts, I don't use. Uh, you can see I've got pneumatics. Why am I not using the big half-inch drive Milwaukee impact uh, cordless that is currently in my car or truck? Um, I don't use it because it's heavy, and so I use it for jobs where I'm going outside, you know, or need to take it somewhere. I use it as a portable impact, but I don't use it every day. I use this every day. It's a Snap-on MG725. Um, I bought this in 2020. Before I had this, I had an AirCat brand. That AirCat lasted five years or so, and it was toast. Um, my dad has an MG25 that's like at least 10 years old, and that thing's still uh, still getting it. So um, I really, really like this impact gun. It has a lot of power, and it is, uh, it's sturdy. Um, you can get service parts for it if it's out of warranty. So, But yeah, this is the 100th anniversary impact. It didn't cost me any extra to get the 100th anniversary, so it's whatever. Um, MG325, this is a lot of power in a little package. Uh, it's a 3.8 drive impact. You can see I've used it a lot. Um, it's a small little snap on MG20, MG325. And it's got a lot, of, a lot of power for a little light impact gun. So I'm a big fan of it. Uh, pneumatic tools are lighter than battery tools at least in my experience, so that's why I run pneumatic stuff uh, on a daily basis. I keep my half inch drive sockets up here um, in six point. I got uh, three eighths drive gray pneumatics and I have uh, a mixture of Snap-on and Matco uh, metrics in half inch drive. So uh, yeah, good quality stuff. Some wrenches, uh, stubbies, Sometimes you need them. A little valve core tool back there. A few bigger wrenches. Tiny adjustable wrench. Uh, Snap-on 
Um, these I call these second generation snap-on because these were hand-me-downs, um, except for this little boy. This little this little guy right here, little Craftsman nine millimeter wrench. Why do you need a nine millimeter? Um, Volkswagen uh, pressure plates, nine millimeter, twelve point. Some of them, not all of them. Um, ratchet wrenches, flexible and uh, and non-flexible. So I've got Craftsman, and uh, I've got a Blue Point up here because my Craftsman one broke, and um, that was before Lowe's started carrying Craftsman, so I didn't even try to get it warranty. I just threw it away and got a Blue Point. Um, one thing I like, I think I like Blue Point better than these because it has this nice um, switching feature, kind of like these do. These fixed ones are fine. These flexible Craftsmans, you have to flip to go, you know, tight or loose, you have to flip them. So uh, I really like the flex with the ability to switch directions. Uh, inspection mirror, nothing special about that. Uh, these stubbies are cobalt brand. They're nothing special, they get the job done, they work. Um, so. And they look nice and shiny in my toolbox. Uh, some oil change stuff. Uh, most everybody's familiar with these mountain brand. Um, long uh, ratchet wrenches. They come in handy. I feel like I say that a lot. They come in handy. This comes in handy. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess it does. Uh, I keep my torque wrenches in this box. Um, you know, fasteners need to be torqued. So quarter drive, three-eighths drive, and half-inch drive. And if you're a mechanic and you don't own torque wrenches, you're not doing the job right. I don't care what you say. It's my opinion. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can feel torque, like, like, I mean, you can get used to something and feel it, but, I mean, for the liability, you know, you want to make sure that you did the job exactly right, stuff needs to be torqued. Um, yeah, pliers, stuff I use every day, scrapers, um, little hose block off kit, uh, tool, hood props, hood, uh, <laughs> hood lock, I guess you could call this, or whatever. Um, that'll save your head from getting smacked when uh, that 200,000 mile, you know, whatever comes in and the hood struts are worn out. Um, you need to stick one of those on there if you if you don't want to pay a bunch of dental bills because that hood will slam your head down into, a, down into the core support. Um, it's almost happened to me. I've had some hoods fall on me, but uh, never got hurt, luckily. So uh, anyway, um, hose tools, uh, picks, big radiator picks, panel clip tool, flat picks. I love these. A uh, lot less chance of puncturing the hose when you're getting it off. Uh, you can, can kind of spoon it off or work it off. It, it really, um, they really work great. These are Cornwall branded. You can get them from pretty much anybody. I bought them from my Cornwall dealer because he was there and he's a Good salesman. Hammers, uh, wheel torque, or wheel, wheel torque, wheel lug nut stuff, uh, little Pittsburgh Harbor Freight impact socket set. Now, I don't know how well these would hold up with like some serious continuous use, but they're thin wall. They have these little protectors. These little protectors on them these can come off and if you need a thin wall socket that's a good value so, I say the protection come up if you pull the protector off the socket underneath is, is a lot thinner the protector adds to the diameter of it so um, when you take them off you wind up with a really thin profile uh, lug nut socket um, I like east wing hammers so that's that's what I've got and then this is uh, yeah, Vaughn, rubber, rubber mallet, some mechanics gloves, got a couple of uh, AST, uh, Toyota, and Honda uh, serpentine belt tools, so uh, m makes the job a lot easier than uh, trying to do it with, you know, like a wrench, especially on those, like hydraulic tensioners, stuff gets tight. Uh, these are uh, torque sticks, made in the USA by Kentool, these are good quality torque sticks. I'm not going to use a cheap torque stick on a car, 
And to be honest with you, after I use a torque stick for my own peace of mind, I always uh, check it with a uh, torque wrench. But I've tested all these on my impact to make sure that they uh, that they get the right amount of torque. So, oh yeah, um, doing brakes, uh, brake caliper piston tool. This is snap on. Um, I know uh, Lang makes a tool that's very similar to this, if if not made by them for snap on. I don't know, but uh, that's a that's a, a kind of a must have for doing brakes. Now I used a C clamp and the old brake pad for years uh, before I got that though, so you don't have to have it. It just makes it makes it quicker. And then the bottom um, blackjack tire plugs and patches. That's I, I think they're good quality. I like them. I like this kit a lot, actually. This kit uh, is very sturdy. It's not that cheap junk. Um, you can use these time after time after time, and, and they, they hold up really well. Having a, a good, solid uh, plug kit makes fixing a tire a lot quicker and easier. Now, a plug's not... Somebody on YouTube is going to be like, Boo, plugs! A plug's not always the... Uh, yeah, there we go. Plug's not always the best way to go, but um, sometimes you have to plug a tire. You can use a patch or a patch plug. So depending on the application, it, it depends on the application as to which repair that, that I'm going to do. So there it is. Um, yeah, Lyle funnel kit, a whole bunch of uh, different style um, adapters for it. Good value, great tool uh, for doing oil changes with uh, no spill. Airlift, this is your coolant, coolant system vacuum uh, refiller. Airlift is my go-to brand. I prefer Airlift over all the others. Um, I've, I've tried a few others and I, I just don't like them. This one's uh, easy to use, uh, good quality. So I've got a chain wrench and a uh, cheater bar, you know, old school cheater bar. You, you need to put it on the end of something, apply some torque. That's your your jack handle cheater bar. So, and then on this cart, I outfitted the side of it. It didn't come with this uh, plate or accessories. I put the plate on there. Um, I keep some work lights, cans, my junk uh, side cutters that I use for you know cutting stuff or grabbing hold of things that I don't want to use my good side cutters for. Um, but yeah, various chemicals, tape measure, caliper hooks, um, suction gun, grease gun, knee pad, knee pad, um, new mechanics especially. Uh, save your knees. Use knee pads. Don't hit the concrete all the time thinking that you've got to be Mr. Fast Guy because you're going to pay for it later. Um, you know, I'm not paying for it yet. I still do stuff that, you know, could probably hurt you know me down the road but I try to use knee pads to protect myself um, so you're gonna wear out your knees you're gonna wear out your feet and your wrists so whatever you can do to uh, you know to make it easier on your body you should so. that's my uh, my rant and my roll cart and how I've got it set up um, so I also got these, uh, I need to get some more gloves, but that's a glove holder. And then the O'Reilly sales rep came by and gave us these nice little magnetic cup holders. So sometimes I use them to hold spray cans, sometimes a drink, you know, they're handy and free, can't beat it. So uh, anyway, that's my, um, that's my roll cart tour, and I really appreciate, uh, appreciate you guys watching my video, thanks.